slot. Another one comes Touch in. Look out. out. Oh! oh! Getting over for Lenick again. Wow. Da -da 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 -da. Back now. Here comes Snyder. Two on one. If they hurry, Lane all by himself. Big shot. Score. 25 seconds in. Played back by Damien. Look out. They forgot about Matt Augustine. He's got Cordora cruising to the net. Back Touch to out. Shot. Score. Oh. Watch out. Away from Kaufman, but look out back the other way. Ooh, Shot save. saved by Colella on Bartow, and he comes. This is the Anaheim Ducks High School Hockey League Weekly Report. I'm Andy Dickerson. Only one game in Week 10, and it was between Orange Lutheran and Santa Margarita. Jordan Eisenman faced a lot of rubber in this varsity D1 game, and he started it off with a massive set of saves on the doorstep, denying Tyler Badami. He also took on John Mulvihill off the rush and steered his shot away. Later, though, an outside shot from Badami eluded Eisenman, and the Eagles took the 1-0 lead. A good shot by Badami as he found room under the blocker. Nick Mouthy and Mulvihill threatened Eisenman again, but he made a couple of great diving saves to keep the deficit at 1. The Eagles' onslaught came from afar after that as a point shot beat Eisenman glove side to make it 2-0. Kevin Peck found Mouthy skating through the slot, and Mouthy shoveled a backhander into the net to make it 3-0. A broken play at the top of the crease was banged home by Mouthy to make it 4-0, and that's where we stood at the end of the first period. Early second, Mulvihill picked up a rebound and deposited it into the cage to make it 5-0. The Lancers finally tried to answer back, but Fred Taylor made one of his 20 saves with a big poke check here. Joseph Felicicchia banged in a rebound from the top of the crease to make it 6-0, and then Mouthy finished off a give-and-go to complete his hat trick and make it 7-0. Tim Liu broke the shutout in the second period as he picked up his first goal of the season off a one-timer in tight, and that brought us into the third period with the score 7-1 Eagles. Just when Santa Margarita maybe had run out of a little bit of space, here comes a shot, score that time by Badami. And with that goal, Santa Margarita jumps back up by seven. Coburn now tries to clear, no good. Eisenman, or actually that's Hernandez, fires a shot. Eisenman with a big save, puck still down low. No Whistle not called, and a big battle ensues. Watch out, and it's going to sneak through for a goal. And once again, reward for it, Pelly boxes. Williams walks in, slot back over, shot comes, and what a save that time by the goaltender, Eisenman. And I'll tell you what, I'm looking to Santa Margarita. They can score three in the first, four in the second, two here in the third, and they're going to skate away with a seven, or excuse me, nine to one victory. Another complete and, effort and, for Santa Margarita and today. And remain undefeated. Yeah, they're seven and zero oh now, and they are just taking a stranglehold in Division One. Big victory for the Eagles, who improved to seven and zero oh on the year. In other news from around the league, only two games on Saturday, and the first was a stunning result from the UTC. With many players around the ADHSHL off playing games for club teams, La Jolla Country Day took advantage of an underpowered St. John Bosco squad to knock off the Braves by a 4-2 score. Henry Little scored twice and Jack Carter made 17 saves to pick up the win. Then in Carlsbad, Yuri Yakala and Kyle Lazerson both recorded hat tricks as the Jets came from behind to deal the Firebirds a 6-5 defeat. Be sure to check out ADHSHL.com for the latest stats and scores and then head over to BDEHockey.com to see which games we'll be covering this weekend. We'll have coverage of six games for you as the Vegas Junior Golden Knights visit Anaheim and Damian heads north to San Jose for a two-game series with Bellarmine.